Let's do business now. An investigation into the Boeing 737 MAX twin crashes has found that the accidents were partly due to the plane maker's unwillingness to share technical details. It blames a culture of concealment at Boeing, but says the regulatory system was also fundamentally flawed. Kenya had the highest number of people who lost their lives at 32 when an Ethiopian Airlines Boeing 737 MAX crashed in March 2019. The 18-month investigation into two Boeing 737 MAX crashes involving an Ethiopian Airlines aircraft and Lion Air flights by U.S. Congress is highly critical of both Boeing and the regulator, the Federal Aviation Administration. Boeing said it had learned many hard lessons from the accidents, but the families of the victims accused the company and the regulator of continuing to hide information. The investigation said that Boeing failed in its design and development of the MAX, and the Federal Aviation Administration failed in its oversight of Boeing and its certification of the aircraft. The Boeing 737 MAX has been grounded since March 2019 after two crashes in Indonesia and Ethiopia, which caused the deaths of three. 146 people. In the Ethiopian Airlines crash that killed 157 people, 32 were Kenyans, four whom were Paul Joroge's wife, three children, and a mother in law. Joroge said the report documented clear dereliction of duty by Boeing and the Federal Aviation Administration in the design and certification process of the 737 MAX. Michael Stumo, whose daughter Samia Rose Stumo died in the Ethiopian air crash, said the Federal Aviation Administration should immediately hold the recertification process for the 737 MAX in light of the report. The 245-page report found a series of failures in the plane's design combined with regulatory capture, an overly close relationship between Boeing and the federal regulator, which compromised the process of gaining safety certification. Regulators around the world are currently putting the modified 737 MAX through its paces.